Hello everyone! In today's video we will have a look at our web app. The web app is a parallel interface to our mobile app and it offers everything you can do in the mobile app but with the convenience of your desktop. Besides this uh, you can also perform cold storage transactions thanks to Ledger integration. Now let's go ahead and connect our wallet. Connecting your wallet is the first thing you will have to do in order to use the web app. At this moment there are several possibilities to do so. Uh, if you do not have any wallet yet, you can create one directly in the web app. Just click on the Create Wallet button and follow the on-screen instructions. The second option is to import an existing seed of a wallet that you already have and with this method you will have to set a password with which you will have to log in every time you open the web app or you refresh it. Finally uh, you can use a key store functionality or MetaMask and XDeFi integrations. With MetaMask and XDeFi you can uh, take advantage of the Ledger integration. Connecting with either of those is very simple. You just follow the on-screen instructions on the pop-up windows. After you connect your wallet you will be on the simple swap page. This page is the ideal place for quick swaps without any distracting details. Just choose the two assets you wish to trade and click on swap. Next we will have a look at the main dashboard. On the top you can see some useful statistics about the whole Tor chain ecosystem. This includes all time values for total liquidity and total swap volume and 24 hour values for volume, swap volume, withdraw volume and paid impermanent loss protection. The 24 hour volume field shows the total for swaps, ads and withdraws and on top of those you also have the current average pool APR. Below these statistics uh, you can find the highest earning pools overview. You can sort this overview by three characteristics, popular, top gainers and top volume. And each field also gives you direct access to swapping and adding liquidity. Finally, below the highest earning pools you can find the trending assets part. You can again sort these based on the same three characteristics as the highest earning pools. Now let's have a look at my assets page. On my assets page you can find all the information about the assets that you hold in your wallet. This includes coins, tokens and NFTs. And you can refresh the values by clicking on this refresh button. You can also sort these assets by different rules such as the highest holdings, alphabetically, highest and lowest price, highest and lowest APR and so on. There are also two cool features designed to quickly help you judge how the market is doing. One of them are these small charts showing the recent price development and the second one is this small percentage number ne next to my assets in the menu. It shows the assets, uh, the change of your assets value over the last 24 hours. As next, we have the swap page, which is the same simple swap page introduced in the beginning of the video. On the send page, you can send your assets to different addresses, and on the buy and sell pages, you can access the no KYC fiat on and off ramp. If we have introduced this on and off ramp in another video, so feel free to check it out if you want to learn more about how it works. Next on the menu is the My Pools page. On this page you can find all information about your current LP positions as well as any pending deposits. For each position there is a separate line which shows you the pooled value of the assets you provided, the price change of those assets in the past 24 hours, including a small chart, 
And finally, the total pooled value and the 30-day average APR of the concrete pool. When you click on the LP position tab, you will arrive at this page, which shows you more details about the concrete position. On top, you have the same information as on the previous page. Below, you have the key KPIs showing loss and gain statistic, LP versus HODL statistics, and finally, impermanent loss protection. Below these key KPIs, you have your pool history showing all of your liquidity ads and withdrawals. On the right side, there is an interaction window through which you can deposit additional funds or withdraw your funds from the pool. You can also easily switch between symmetric and asymmetric deposits and withdrawals. And if you want to learn more about entering pools, you can check out our guide here. Now let's move to the earn part. We offer several options to put your assets to work. The first possibility is to add liquidity. The second option is to complete missions to earn rewards in TGT. And the final possibility is to stake TGT. Missions are not yet available on the web app, but you can try them out in our mobile app. On the Add Liquidity page, you can see the overview of all the pools currently available on the DoorChain ecosystem. You can search the pools and you can sort them by different criteria, such as the lowest or uh, highest liquidity, alphabetically uh, highest and lowest APR, and several more. Moreover, from each pool field, you can use these two buttons to quickly swap the asset or add liquidity to its pool. When you access the individual LP page, you can see information about the current APR and the price development of both assets, which is important when deciding on the uh, strategy of entering the pool. Next to that, there is the interaction window through which you can add liquidity. As mentioned earlier, missions are not yet available on the web app, so let's have a look at the TGT staking. Firstly, just like with my pools page, there is also a dynamic number next to the page name in the menu. In this case, it shows the total amount of TGT you have staked. On the page itself, on top, you can see the total amount of tokens staked and next to it, the current APY. Below this, you can find the information about the total value of your TGT holdings and the price per token. Next. You can see the KPIs, including the pending rewards, the 30-day average APR, and the future 30-day rewards. The staking page also shows you in which community tier you currently are and if you have any Tor Wallet Army NFTs activated. Finally, on the right-hand side, you can see the interaction window through which you can stake, harvest and withdraw your TGT tokens. Lastly, you can find some useful links in the menu on the left-hand side. The first one is Analytics, which takes you to the Tor Wallet Analytics website. There you can find information about the trading volumes, number of active users and more. In the Learn section, you can find links to the Community Tiers explanation, FAQs and some YouTube education videos. I hope you find this video useful and if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Learn more at thorwallet.org.